Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing plant chores. Before we get started, please consider liking and subscribing. So since I got back a couple weeks ago, I'm going to be honest, I haven't really done any plant chores. They were alone. All of my plants were alone all summer while I was gone at camp where I work and they were under the care of my parents and the plants look great. There are some bugs that really need to be taken care of and there are some like plant chores that need to be done and there's a lot to do. And I got home, I think like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and then I promptly left to go cat sit at a friend's apartment for like an entire week. And so I haven't really been like with my plants in my room for a really long time. And so I haven't really been able to do any plant chores, but today I need to just start doing them. So I asked you guys some questions on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, my link is in the description of this video. Go follow me on Instagram. That's where I do a lot of like updates on posting schedules and different planty stuff that I don't post here on YouTube. So go follow me if you don't already, it's just Tate's Plants. Uh, but yeah, I am going to start tackling my mealybug infestation today and sort of just want to get my collection like under control because it's a little wild right now. So I think what I want to do first is, I don't even know, <laughs> there's like literally so much to do. I think I'm going to go around first and just start by cutting off any dead leaves that I see because that's a good... I, I would recommend, I would recommend this because it's a good like tangible way to get things done by, and it like doesn't take that much effort. And if you like just get rid of dead leaves, you can look around and like see that your plants aren't actively dying like right now. So I think I'm going to do that first. Uh, I'm going to, I borrowed my mom's phone so that I can answer your questions. Um, yeah. Welcome back to Tate not being able to multitask, but let's see. Um, how are you? How was camp? Is the first question. Also, if my room is not very clean, I explained why. So, where did those scissors just go? Oh, right um, how are you? How was camp? I am doing well. Camp, um, camp was good. It was, I think I talked about this a little bit in my I'm home video, but let's see. I'm going to start with... The pink princess here um yeah it was really difficult at camp because we had to uh we had to divide the kids for the first couple weeks by just by like age group at first and so that was really sad to be like at camp but like not be able to be everybody all together um and a big part of our camp is that we like gather together and sing songs and stuff and Obviously singing is not that good of an idea right now. And so it was really challenging to like be at this place, but not be able to do everything all the way. Um, and my job was that I was the head of the waterfront at camp. And that was really hard because for the first couple weeks, at least we had to divide people in the water because they couldn't wear, um, can't wear masks in the water. <laughs> And so we had to like separate people by age group in the water. And so I would have to be there like watching people swim and like telling people where they could and couldn't go and like just trying to control everything. And it was definitely a lot of work and it was really challenging. Um, and I was just really tired all the time. And so I would go to sleep early, like every night. Um, yeah, but it, Overall was really nice to be back because there was like, that's like the most normal thing that I've done in a really long time because like, okay, this section is a mess. Um, there's so many mealy bugs. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the, it was like the most normal stuff that I had done since the pandemic started because, oh my God, this mealy bug fluff is everywhere. And so it was really nice to be able to be like with people again. And after a couple weeks and a lot of testing, we were able to go back to more normal stuff. And so like able to hug your friends and like do normalcy like that. Um, so yeah, 
overall it was definitely not what I expected the summer to be. I think I just expected it to be like that everybody was so happy to be able to be back that like nothing was wrong and everyone's just really grateful for everything but there was that but it was also just really difficult because I think we also thought that well I thought at least that when we got back that I well at first I was like sort of bummed out because I was like dang I'm missing like the comeback summer of the world like this is gonna be the start of like the roaring 20s of the 2020s because the pandemic's gonna be over and I was sort of bummed to be missing that time in the city but then of course while we were gone things didn't go the way that we thought that they would go with the pandemic um and so I don't know very very stressful time I think everybody's honestly so stressed right now I don't know anybody who's just like having a good time with every single aspect because like no matter how you're doing with your own mental health there's still this underlying anxiety of the global pandemic that's going on so I don't know I think I'm as good as I can be for a 24 year old recent college grad who lives with her parents and doesn't really have a career currently but long-winded answer I think I'm doing well um there are just so many bugs ah just fell <laughs> did you see that it just fell okay um next question what's on your plant wish list so I have been getting back into the plant stuff I know when I when I left you can't see what I'm doing when I left I had said that not when I left. Recently. Hold on. I need to move you guys. <gasps> Shoot. <laughs> that just fell. <laughs> uh. okay. There we go. Um, when I got back, I said that I like hadn't really been looking at plants and stuff since I got back. Uh, I have been spending more time on like plant YouTube and watching plant content and stuff like that. And so I am feeling a little bit more connected with the plant community than I had been since I had left. Um, and so as far as wish list stuff, I really, my like top wish list plant has been for a long time that I really want a um, variegated philodendron gigantium. So I would say that's like the top of my wish list right now. Um, just because I think that they're so beautiful and I almost bought one I think I forget who it was from but I almost bought one and I was very excited about it but I didn't end up getting it for whatever reason and so I would really like to be able to get one of those because they're beautiful and I love my regular Gigantium it's like going crazy um oh I have some really sad news I'm like actually heartbroken about it. Uh, I, while I was cat sitting, like ha was expecting that my mom was gonna keep watering my plants, but she was like, you're home, they're your plants now. And so my plants didn't get watered for like a week. And unfortunately, this is my nerve plant. I'm literally so sad about it. I'll put what it looked like here before. This is what it looks like now. This is like the most beautiful full pot of nerve plant that I've ever seen. And I'm literally so upset about it. I think, honestly, I would get another one. And I want, I want, I want another one really badly because they're so beautiful. And like I always say, I love a vocal plant. And that is a very vocal plant. And it makes me really sad that it's gone. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, oh, wish list plants. Yeah, I think those are the ones that I really like right now. I also, I'm not even using these because um, these leaves are just coming off. I also have been really loving any sort of anthurium since I got back because mine are thriving so well in my greenhouse cabinet that I 
I'm like, ooh, maybe I can take care of them. And they are just so beautiful when they grow. And I really would like more of them. I think I would really like an ace of spades. I know that those are pretty in demand. What if I just shake this? Hmm. Like I need to do something with this. It's like cascading down. Um, this one's not looking good. What's wrong? Hmm. There's like a couple little mealybugs, but it's not. Okay, what next? Let's move this way. Okay, if you guys, this is a chaotic video, as always. Um, how are you and your girlfriend doing? Smiley face, so cute together. Thank you. Um, me and Katie are good. We made it through the summer, which is great because um, when I left, we had been together for 11 weeks and then I left for the summer for 11 weeks. And so uh, I would say the statistics were against us on that one because I don't know, I just, it was a very daunting situation when we left because obviously you don't want to be away from your person for like the entire amount of time that you've known them um and also this one died this is an alocasia uh and so that was really it was really hard for a while and it took us a lot of like learning to communicate and all that jazz but once we were able to figure out the long distance stuff, I would not say that I ever want to do it again. And we are very much looking forward to just being able to be together all the time now forever. Um, but we were able to make it work and I was able to see her numerous times. We, during camp, she came up, which was awesome because it's like a six hour drive. She drove all the way up to camp to see me. Um, and then we, I met her in the middle for one of my days off and we went and rented a tiny house in upstate New York, which was awesome. And yeah, we made it work and we FaceTimed all the time and yeah, it was, it was definitely difficult, but we are literally so happy to be back now. I asked her if she would be in a video with me soon and she said yes, so maybe in the next couple weeks you'll have another video from her. Um, she really loves the philodendron pink princess, that one in the corner right there, so I think maybe we'll have, have her do something with that because she really likes that. Um, okay. What else? I'm just getting rid of anything that looks like sort of sad because these plants have lots of leaves. I also have a lot of repotting that I need to do. Oh my goodness. There's so, plants take so much effort, you know? I know that's a silly thing to say, but they really do. Okay. Um, I think I also want to do some re, re, reorganizing here. I also need to do some cleaning. Oh my goodness. I also need to move that. There's a plant up there. Can you see that one? That. Let me try to get to that. So let's try to do that. Uh. Okay, we'll I'll move this. I don't want to knock anything over. Nope. <laughs> Not happening right now. Okay. Um. I think now I, oh, there's a whole other section that needs leaves taken off. Okay, we're gonna move to the ceiling. Are you guys ready? I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, so as you can see, this stuff is struggling. I, I'm gonna check the water levels and see if it's a water issue, uh, but either way, there's a lot of, a lot of yellow leaves, so okay. 
Uh, someone else said any new obsessions, plants or hobbies, whatever. New obsessions. Um, I, let me see. I don't know. I can't, I got really into, um, I mean, I always do. I got really into French bracelets. Um, I actually just took off the one last one that I was wearing, but it's really fun and I really enjoy it. And I feel like it sounds like a little kid thing to do, but they're very fun to make and made one for Katie and she wore it for like the whole summer. What do I even do right now? Oh, I just got a new job. I haven't started yet, but I got a new lifeguarding job because, um, I need some sort of day job and um so i'm gonna be working at a pool on the upper east side as a lifeguard and i'm pretty excited about that we'll see how that goes my other lifeguarding job that i used to do was pretty chill and so i feel like this one might be a little bit more intense than my old job but we will have to see um i really I'm trying to get into like fashion stuff. Not like actual fashion, but I'm trying to like, I don't know. I went through a phase recently where I looked in my closet and hated everything that I own. And so I would love to be able to like overhaul everything, sell a bunch of stuff, and then sort of start fresh with a new wardrobe because I want to be able to feel good about myself and what I'm wearing and all that stuff. I love this jumpsuit though. This is, this is a good, a good item of clothing for me. Um, it's also like a funny thing with, cause I cut my hair, uh, at the start of the summer and then like immediately left for camp where like, it doesn't matter what you look like. Um, cause like we don't really have any mirrors at camp. Nobody has phones out. Nobody wears makeup. Like you're literally just in the woods wearing sweatpants or like athletic clothes all the time. And so it was weird to like, okay. So as you can see, this stuff is struggling. I, I'm gonna check the water levels and see if it's a water issue. Uh, but either way, there's a lot of, a lot of yellow leaves. So, okay. Uh, someone else said any new obsessions, plants, or hobbies, whatever. New obsessions. Um, I, let me see. I don't know. At camp, I got really into, um, I mean, I always do. I got really into French bracelets. <laughs> um, I actually just took off the one last one that I was wearing, but... It's really fun and I really enjoy it and I feel like it sounds like a little kid thing to do, but they're very fun to make and made one for Katie and she wore it for like the whole summer. Um, okay. This thing fell. Stay. Okay. Um, other than that, what do I even do right now? Oh, I just got a new job. I haven't started yet but I got a new lifeguarding job because um, I need some sort of day job. And um, so I'm gonna be working at a pool on the Upper East Side as a lifeguard. We'll see how that goes. My other lifeguarding job that I used to do was pretty chill. And so I feel like this one might be a little bit more intense than my old job, but we will have to see um, I really, I'm trying to get into like fashion stuff, not like actual fashion, but I'm trying to like, I don't know. I went through a phase recently where I looked in my closet and hated everything that I own. It has attached itself to the wall. Like there are aerial roots. Oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to pick this up. Look, I know it's struggling, but look at this. 
it's grown and it attached itself <laughs> to the wall. I feel so bad taking it off. It's like clearly loving it there. Um, sorry. I'm sorry. No, you don't you fall. Okay. Oof. Wow, that like fused itself. Ugh. Jeez. Well, that's. I don't know if that'll come off or not, but we will see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to move it without bringing everything with it. Stop. Okay. Wow. So, <laughs> this is my Cebu now. It is covered in mealybugs. I'm going to put it down. Wow. Like, look at how much this has grown. This is crazy. Well, I might have to do some propagating of this, and I think I want to repot it. Like, I'm going to take off all of these leaves that are dead, and I don't like this pot, so I think I want to repot it. And maybe I'll put it, like, here on the top of my thing so it can climb down. Or somewhere. <gasps> Ooh, should I put it up there? In a pot? Ooh, that'd be cool. Okay, somewhere that it can, like, cascade. Okay. Hope this is an okay view. Um, I need, like, a thing to put this stuff in. I'm gonna use this. Okay, so what is the next question? I'm gonna go through, take off these dead leaves, and then treat it for mealybugs. If and when you get your own place, what city would you like to live in and why? So happy you are back. Thank you. Um... When I get my own place, I will be moving out. I don't know if I want to fully commit to this yet, but I will be moving out in March. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to be moving yet. I will be staying in New York City. I really like, I want to move to, I live in Queens right now. I want to live in Brooklyn, ideally. Um, I would live in Manhattan. <laughs> would I? I don't know. Manhattan is very, very, very expensive. And I do not have the funds to get a place that's nice enough to make it worth it to live there. So, cause like the second you cross over into Brooklyn, it's immediately so much cheaper. And I don't know, I really love Brooklyn. I lived in Brooklyn first when I, um, when I was born, my parents lived in Brooklyn. I was born in New York City. We lived, we lived in Park Slope, which I loved. It was a great area. Um, and I just love like the brownstone stuff and like, I don't know. I really just love Brooklyn. Queens has been really nice. Our house is really nice. Our area is really quiet, which is pretty unusual. Um, but I am ready to not live with my parents anymore. <laughs> I really love my parents and they have been very nice letting me live here for so long. Um, but it is time for me to not live here anymore. So I'm going to do a little bit of saving up so that hopefully I can afford a nice-ish place. Um, and so between now and then, it's like six months from now, um, I'm going to try to trying to save up some money, make some money so that I can... I don't know. If, I, if I'm going to move out, I want it to be worth it. And I want it to be a place that I feel comfortable in, a place that I really enjoy living in. Um, yeah, and we will have to see. I would say keep watching my channel for updates on that, but I will definitely be bringing my plants. Maybe not all of them, but I will be bringing plants with me um, wherever I go. That's another thing that I need to figure out is lighting because New York City apartments, I feel like, are notorious for just being dark pits of nothingness. Um, and obviously, grow lights are a thing. But for my mental health and for my plant's health, I really would love to have some good lighting. So there's all sorts of different factors going into it. Uh, it doesn't mean that I would never live in a different city. I would totally live in a different city. I can imagine maybe moving to, I don't know, somewhere in California really loved growing up in Boston. I don't know if I would live in Boston again as an adult just because like I don't know why my life would bring me back there based off of like okay <laughs> hope this is an okay view um I need like a thing to put this stuff in 
go visit us. Okay, so what is the next question? I'm gonna go through, take off these dead leaves and then treat it for mealybugs. So how was your silver, how did your silver hero do while you were away? I finally ordered one. Yes. Um, I absolutely love my silver, silver hero. Um, it is thriving. It is doing, uh, if you guys watched my houseplant update tour recently, you will see that I show you guys that it's all of my skindapsis are doing this weird thing where they send out a lot of runners, which I'm not sure what the deal is, but I think I'm going to propagate them. Um, yeah, we, it, it's doing great. It's growing literally so much faster than I thought that it would, which is crazy because I think I've said this before, but to me, like rare plant equals slow grower because that's why I think that it's rare because they don't grow very fast and so people can't really find them anywhere. But the Silver Hero is growing incredibly fast to the point where like I could propagate it and make 10 new plants, which I might do so that I can share it with people. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's doing really well. Yeah, I would highly recommend that if you guys can get your hands on any of those. They're really amazing plants and I love them very much. Um, okay. Ugh, I'm like covered in mealybug fuzz. Have you gotten any new plants while you were gone? If so, what's your favorite one? Uh, I only got two new plants. I got, they're right over there. I got a variegated Boston fern. That was the first one that I got. And I got that at a plant shop in Burlington, uh, Burlington, Vermont. And then I got a um, peace lily, just like a regular peace lily. And I got that one at a grocery store. I don't really know why I bought it. I really like it. And <laughs> it's... I don't know. The leaves are very waxy and beautiful, which lead me to think that they were chemically altered to be that way because it's like a grocery store plant. So you don't really know if it's the nicest quality, um, but they're doing really well. I like the Boston fern a lot. Ferns in general sort of stress me out though. Um, like I was saying with, whatchamacallit, with plants in my last video there are certain plants that I just like look at that I like connect an anxiety to because I have seen it had an issue before so like with ferns I'm immediately like oh my god it's gonna dry up and die um but this one isn't drying up and dying it's just stress that I have attached to it um okay I think I'm going to bring this into the shower. does that sound like a good idea yeah I'm gonna bring it into the shower and wash it off because it is so covered in bugs Oh yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty, so that is going to probably hang dry in the shower for a while. Uh, I'm gonna clean up this bed that is now covered in mealy bits. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wash this blanket. Um, yeah, so sorry I didn't really get to any, uh, let me see if I haven't answered any questions. Um, sorry that I didn't, um, I have a lot of work to do. And so it's gonna be a lot of plant chores videos coming up because this is just like a great a great way to make myself be productive. Like this is more productivity than I've done in a long time um, plant wise. I've been doing other productive things. But I think my plan of attack is going to be against the mealybugs is that I'm gonna do what I just did and like power wash them off in the shower, let them sit there and then um, the power washing sort of like defeats the purpose of the rubbing alcohol though because it's not like a spot check because do you know what I mean like it's not like I don't have to go in with a q-tip 
and maybe on like my Hoya compacta I will but I don't have to go in with a, to a toothpick a q-tip and like get each individual bug if I'm power washing it if that makes sense so I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna take everything into the shower spray them all down uh, excuse me <laughs> spray them all down and um and then use some sort of insecticide and then do that every couple weeks for a while maybe if I see a mealybug I'll have my like q-tips and rubbing alcohol at the ready to like get it uh but yeah I think that that's gonna be my treatment I'm using some sort of insecticide I forget what it is I mixed it a while ago in a different video um yeah so that is what is going on right now um yeah I'm trying to think if there's anything else Sorry, I didn't get to everybody's questions. I'm, I will have so much time for questions. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't make this video earlier this week. I was sort of taking Labor Day as a time to hang out with Katie and her and her pets yesterday. So that was a lovely time. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to this channel or liking this video or both if you're feeling fancy. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye.